welcome, honey badgers. Um, I've got another Timu haul plus one little uh, bonus uh, Amazon one over there, which I'll explain in a minute. I do have another video that I realized I could do, which is just some recent Amazon finds. I'll probably film that right after this one. Um, but I figured the thing with diamond paintings is if I'm going to do hauls, I should probably film them and get them uploaded because canvases tend to rotate in stock and go in and out of stock pretty quickly with different companies. So, uh, yeah, you, you may see these kind of add up on the channel, uh, mainly because I'm just trying to keep my inventory controlled <laughs> and um, in my inventory books and then stashed away until I need them so that they're not just, you know, all over the place in my work area. So, uh, this is the one I mentioned. I think it's in the first Timu haul I did where I had the diamond painting tips and I said I had bought this one, um, knowing that there was a chance that I might lose some of the detail, but actually in person, it doesn't look too bad, really. Uh, pretty simple sort of artistic image of Tinkerbell. Um, let me show you the colors here. Let me see. I guess I could see. I mean, there's the image there, but you can pretty much tell what it is. That's It's pretty clean. Uh, it does come with DMC codes, looks like. I don't do the whole, like when I see um, uh, Diamond Painter's pull up the thing and do, oh yeah, it's sticky. I just assume it's going to be sticky. <laughs> um, I don't really like sticking my finger on the canvas and putting an imprint on the canvas before I've even worked on it. Um, if the glue field sucks on these things, you'll know about it because I'll put it in the uh, post-completion blog post reviews. Whenever I finish one, uh, I always link, when you see like the the completion reels. I always link the blog post where I talk about anything I noted about the canvas, whether it's the drills were good or bad, or if the glue filled was not great, if there was an issue with key, anything I run into like that, it's all going to be in the completion blog posts that I link on the completion reels as I finish these. So just side note. Um, but yeah, that one looks pretty good. I'm excited about the green. Um, for those of you that, that don't know, uh, green is my, like pretty much any shade of green is my favorite color. So whenever I get to work on canvases that feature a lot of it, I'm happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, a look at the drills here. I mean, you can kind of see basically it's, you know, going to be a dark background with some purples, green, obviously, uh, some probably light whites and grays and around the moon some blonde colors for her hair so any of you that have seen some of my completion reviews see like as a redhead i don't discriminate i do do blondes sometimes <laughs> um so yeah uh there's probably the color for her hair and um that color might be also be part of her hair or skin tone some purples in the background dark blues i'm guessing also for the background where's the hold on um i was trying to see oh i kind of spotted there maybe one second oh <laughs> it's in the front i was trying to see where the green was okay um wow i thought the green oh okay I was going to say, I thought the green would be a little bit darker, but it also looks like there's a little bit of a, like, spring green back in there. So, that's how that one is looking. Uh, considering this is a moon image, I will probably be adding ABs to this one since I tend... I don't do ABs on everything. I kind of go by picture, uh, if it makes sense in the picture. Sometimes, like, you know, let me show you, the, like, this one real quick. I probably wouldn't do any ABs in that because it seems like good as is but uh, a lot of times if there's snow in the image if it's uh, celestial if it's fantasy if there's a moon that kind of thing um, if there's a ball gown something like that that would wear you know like extra glitter pizzazz whatever would make sense that's usually the type I add a B's in 
or like this guy might end up adding ABs to him. Haven't decided yet, but he's kind of a fantasy dragon. <laughs> it's sort of redundant, huh? Um, but you know, uh, extra fantastical looking dragon, I guess I should say. So since we're looking at him, uh, let's just go ahead and look at him. <laughs> uh, so this is a 30 by 30. I think I might've mentioned this one. I don't remember when I did that other video about shopping tips or whatever. Uh, I may have mentioned this one. Maybe not. I don't know. It's a while ago <laughs> I filmed that. I don't remember anymore. Um, so yeah, it looks like he has some, um, what would you call that? Gold lights behind him? <laughs> Fairy lights? I don't know. Um, looks like there's going to be some teal blues maybe in there. Oh yeah, I kind of peek it in there. Um, but basically, not a crazy color palette. A few pops of blue, greens, some grays, um, probably some peach tones around the mouth and the lights. Um, yeah, it's a pretty basic color palette there. Uh, purple is probably going to go in the background, I'm assuming. Some light pinks probably also around his eyes and maybe in the light area as highlights. But yeah, like I said, a lot of grays, browns, whites, that kind of thing. So that's that one. That one comes out pretty clean. Not disappointed with that one. Uh, this one, I don't really want to open the packet because these are very tightly wrapped and there's no way I'm getting them back that tightly wrapped until I'm ready to work on them. But this is a, a mandala that I had in my cart kind of debating for a while. Um, I don't do a lot, a lot of mandalas, but every once in a while I, I get the itch to do one. Um, it just depends on like the color and the actual pattern, um, for me. Uh, but I'm not like the type of diamond painter. It's like, I have to do all of them. Uh, no, I'm kind of particular about like what the actual, like I said, color and design is. I, I liked this one. I liked the combination of the red and green and the sort of star pattern in the center. I thought it was sort of unusual. I hadn't seen this particular combination of look before. Um, so what was the size on this one? I think this is a, does it say on here? I want to say this was a 20 by 20. Well, they're saying it's a 30 by 30, but I'm thinking that's the whole canvas. I'm thinking the actual drill fill is closer to a 20 by 20. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see the, on this one too what the general color palette is going to be. Some greens, um, like you can see here, some um, darker greens, a little bit of army green, some yellows, some burgundies. Uh, looks like some neutral pinks. So yeah, there's that one. And then this lion one I showed a minute ago. This was another risk I took because, uh, you know, I mentioned, oh, here it says 20 by 20. Again, this one I'm guessing is closer as far as drill field is probably closer to a 15 by 15. And the canvas itself is probably 20 by 20, but the drill field is 15 by 15, I'm guessing. Um, but I decided to take a risk on this because one, the color palette is just fun because <laughs> it's a rainbow lion and also the price it was like a dollar or something i think when i eventually bought it so i figured yeah what the hell for like basically a dollar canvas we can see what happens uh it looks pretty clear like this it could come out decent uh the one thing i would be worried about is how his eyes are going to turn out everything else i think is going to be fine but i'm a little bit concerned about how clear the definition around his eyes are going to come out uh, once you put drills on them. It could be a little bit iffy, but I figured for a dollar it's worth an experiment. Um, <laughs> if nothing else, it'll just come out as a really colorful, sort of impressionistic piece, I guess. But yeah, just totally forgot to talk about the color palette. Um, but yeah, you can see like uh, colors there. So some pinks, some sort of aqua greens, light pink back there. There's some yellows that looks like a bright pink in there. Uh, some 939, that's dark blue, so that's probably going to be in the background. Uh, some more greens and pinks. So yeah, should be colorful to say the least. And then I just got uh, a simple daisy one. Uh, simply because I like daisies. Uh, they're not my favorite flower. Uh, feel free to make a comment down below if you 
think you can guess what my favorite flower is. I will give you a hint. It is a white flower, typically. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it in any other color except white. Um, but yeah, it's not daisies. And I will say it's not roses. I know you've probably seen me do a lot of rose pattern DPs if you've been following me on either here or Instagram. I do like roses, but roses are not my favorite. So feel free to guess down below what you think my favorite flower might be. Anyway, <laughs> uh, again, this is pretty straightforward color palette, blue, white, green, a little bit of goldenrod, I'm assuming, uh, some gray for the shading areas, a little bit of brown for the stem areas. That looks like that might be that like sort of minty white green in there. That's kind of nice. Um, that bright pop of orange, I'm guessing, is going around the center part there. But yeah, basically like a lot of blues for the skies. Um, I mainly got it, you know, also not only for being daisies, but also because uh, I just tend to like the combination of blue next to white. I just like the freshness look of it. So that's what that palette looks like. It also came with a little bit of an inventory sheet. You can see it did come with the DMC codes. I don't think this is a sticker. I think this is just a piece of paper they printed out. But yeah, you can see the original image there. Uh, pretty simple, but I think it'll be really cute and sort of fresh looking when it's done. So let me move these out of the way and then I'll show you what's going on with these two over here. Okay, so I originally bought this one off of Timu. Uh, this lighthouse scene because it's another thing of growing up in San Diego I have a thing about lighthouses <laughs> because uh, San Diego has one of the most unique lighthouses I've ever seen on um, if you look up the original Point Loma lighthouse it's not the one it wasn't used for very long historically um, but the sh actual shape of it is pretty unique for a lighthouse if you look up the original one because they ended up if you're interested in the history at all, real quick. Um, basically, they put the original Point Loma Lighthouse on this one area of a cliff, and then they realized it wasn't really sitting quite right to service properly as, or decently, as a lighthouse as they wanted. So they ended up putting it further down the cove, uh, building a different one and putting it further down the cove and making it taller and all this stuff. But the original Point Loma Lighthouse, which has a state park and everything built around it now uh is similar to this sort of rock style a little bit different but i mean if you look it up you'll see what i'm talking about it has a very unique shape to the actual light keeper house so growing up with that i had i developed a thing for lighthouses <laughs> um so uh, I found this one, which I thought was pretty cool. This was another one I was a little bit concerned about, but I thought the detail was minimal enough uh, that I could probably get away with doing it in the 30 by 40. Sometimes with waves, you got to be a little bit careful because um, waves and waterfalls, that kind of thing, can be deceptive with diamond painting. They look simple enough, but it's actually a little bit better as far as getting fine detail in like a wave curl or color variation to go a little bit bigger to really get like a fine clean look on a wave but sometimes with uh 30 by 40s you can get it close enough to where it, it still looks nice uh, so this one i felt was probably close enough it would look decent uh so this one oh i'll show you real quick here it does come with dmc on this one color palette is going to be mostly blues obviously <laughs> uh there's little pops of green for like the grass areas can be a fair amount of brown for the rock um lighthouse and the the tower and the lighthouse keeper's house actual house some pinks and whites going in the sky also probably a little bit of yellow i'm guessing uh some faint yellow uh so yeah some pretty muted earthy tones there uh, but i think it'll it'll come out pretty nice but this is what i was talking about uh with what i found on amazon it might be hard to tell but this is actually the same image. It's just cut from a different angle. 
and the colors have been messed with on this one. Uh, so this, I think, was probably closer to the original image. I think this one, a different company made it, and what they probably did was mess with the settings. And I don't mean mess in a bad way. I'm just saying, like, they made it look different so that it would be unique to their company. But I'm guessing they probably, you know, upped the contrast and the color temperature and all that kind of stuff to make it look like a different photo but it's basically the same they just this one is more far away but basically what they did it was come in and crop it like right here so you're just getting i don't know if you guys can really tell that that easily but uh so basically they cut off on this one they cut off all of this so you're not getting the wave wave <laughs> you're not getting the wave crashing as much uh the light has been toned down this one actually okay looking at this now closer this one is done more pixel style it looks like which is the old way of printing a lot of diamond paintings this one is more overlay printing which is what they typically tend to do more of now uh, the overlay printing tends to make a little bit cleaner picture it's a little less Minecrafty looking <laughs> when you're done. You can still get a nice picture either way. It's just uh, different ways of printing the picture. Um, but yeah, basically they just cropped this company, cropped this photo here and just did this part and then just upped the color ratios, made the color tones warmer, uh, messed with the contrast, all that kind of thing, and just adjusted it so that the cabin looked cabin <laughs> so that the well it's kind of like a cliff cabin uh the lighthouse keepers hut whatever you want to call it uh is closer in, to the forefront so i i got this one on timu i got this one on amazon for a few more dollars and um ultimately i want to do these two next to each other and do a comparison and see how they turn out uh, between different companies, uh, different canvas types too. The Timu one is a little bit softer canvas. This one is a little bit stiffer. This one also comes with DMC. Oh, I noticed this one has more colors too. If you see, there's only 23 colors in this one. There's 33, I think it said. Yeah, 33 in this one. This one also looks a little bit bigger. So I don't know if it has the range on here. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. See, it says uh, 35 by 45, so I was wondering why this one looked a little bit bigger. This is what a true 30 by 40 canvas, as far as like the entire drill field is 30 by 40, that's what it should look like. When you have a 30 by 40 like this, that's why it looks so much smaller. Because this is probably, when they say 30 by 40 and it looks this small, that means that the entire canvas, the whole thing is 30 by 40. So what you're actually drilling is probably closer to a 25 by 35. Uh, so this, if it looks this big and it says 35 by 45 up here, that typically means you are getting a true 30 by 40 drill area. So anyone that's new to diamond painting, that's something to keep in mind. The nice thing also is with 33 colors having more colors can actually make a difference in your definition quality so that was another thing i was curious about is how clean these are going to look next to each other so that will be an upcoming video uh oh i don't think i showed you the color palette for the okay this one goes with this one so this is the Timu version. You can see it's a lot more muted, a lot more like, you know, I don't want to say pastel, but like, you know, sort of sun going down at the beach kind of colors. This one is a lot more closer to almost primary colors, which also caught my curiosity. Um, <laughs> it's, I, I kind of wonder because even though it's the same picture, I kind of wonder if this is going to resemble more the coastline I grew up with, uh, with what, what sunset at the beach tends to look like versus like, I don't know what sunset in Ireland, I assume must look like with a lot brighter green. Uh, so I don't know that was another thing I was kind of curious about, but you can see it's a lot brighter peach tones for the skies, a lot brighter browns. 
um, blues. It looks like they both come with 939. I'm guessing that's for shading around the roof lines and stuff. But yeah, that green versus the more like army green <laughs> in here. So I don't know. It should be an interesting little, another little test video I plan to do at some point. Uh, so yeah, that's what I have for this one. Uh, I will link all this stuff down below and also the Amazon one if it's still available if you're curious to try it uh, yourself and I will get off here and then film the Amazon one of the other Amazon finds I've found recently so stay tuned bye guys